play, so it's my opinion. We were just talking about the college football playoff rankings. It's my opinion that ESPN talking heads should never complain about the college football playoff rankings because they are the reason for the rankings. It's weird when it's their money and they're funding it and they have the rights to it. And then they come on and say, I can't believe that Cincinnati's getting hosed. They don't have a chance. And I'm thinking, you helped create this structure <laughs> where it is Cincinnati is not welcome in their playoff. This is a power five playoff and group of five teams aren't welcome. They never will be. I just think it's funny that the argument is about what other people like. College, there's nothing else like college football where you argue about other people's opinions of teams. Yes. Right. Like nothing else. Nobody's like, hey, you know, it's the end of the year. Let's pick the four teams that we think are the best in the NFL and we'll let them play for a Super Bowl title, right? Like, they're, they're, or any sport, right? You're like, hey, we watched the whole season in the NBA and Major League Baseball. Let's just have 13 random people vote on who they think the four best teams are and then we'll let them play for a championship. I mean, it's really insane that that kind of situation exists. And you can say, well, they have that in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, yeah but it's 68 teams. Like, if you're the 69th team or the 70th team, it's like, okay, it's hard to argue that you are being somehow horribly wrong. Whereas if you're the fifth best team, and that's why I think we're going to go to 12. Uh, and I think Greg Sankey, the commissioner of the, uh, of the SEC, is going to uh, ultimately get his way. And 12, I think, will cure that a little bit because there won't be, in my mind, any suggestion. If you can't get in the top 12, you really don't deserve to play for a championship, in what, my mind. What is the holdup now with the 12? I know there was some delay because think, of Oklahoma and Texas. Yeah, and I the, think the, the Alliance big, getting upset about yeah, that. Yeah, the Big 12, Big 10, and the uh, and the Pac-12 are upset about Oklahoma and Texas to the SEC, even though they all would take Oklahoma and Texas the to Pac their conference. Tried to already. Yeah, right. So I think ultimately they're going to sit back because they're now arguing well, we only want eight, but I think Greg Sankey got it right on 12. And I think ultimately the number is going to end up 12 because, uh, look, I mean, the SEC is going to think when they get Texas and Oklahoma, hey, we're going to get three or four teams into the college football playoff every year. And instead of going with eight and giving all the automatic bids to the conference champs and all that stuff, um, it, uh, I, I think 12 is going to be the right number. It's going to be pretty amazing, though, when you think about percentage-wise. I'm with you, Clay. 25% of the SEC is going to be in the college football playoff. Yes. I think regularly, and I think you're going to have years where there could be five. Yeah. Five or half the and, field and, could be SEC. And there's going to start to be an argument. I think this is the challenge with the conference title games in general. Uh, and we're going to be in Atlanta, which will be fun uh, to finish off the SEC season this year. But to me, the challenge is, as you kind of break that down, you might have an advantage not making the SEC championship game, right? Yeah, if you're absolutely. one of the teams, now you can say, well, you want to be seated, you know, one or two or whatever, and I guess that would be an advantage. But not having to play a big, physical, tough SEC championship game before you roll oh, into a 12 team. Congratulations on being awake, yeah. guys. Yeah. Good yeah. job. Yes. These are the first two yes. people yes. awake in all yes. of Tuscaloosa yes. right now yes. entering yes. NS3. We, we woke up this early for a 6 p.m. game. Is it 6 or 7? 6, six Central, six right? I don't know yeah. what time six zone we're in. Uh, and they just woke up, too. So congratulations to them. This is the first people in the bar. They yes. Are. Yeah. That's yeah. a good feeling. You yeah. should get a free tab. 8.44 a.m. local time. That's, that's a good turnout. I'm going to talk to Tripp, who owns this joint later. I'm going to I'm gonna petition for that couple to receive a free tab just for walking into the bar at 8.44 a.m. It is, I, 